Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about um, fertilizer, and this is my compost tea. I basically took a five-gallon bucket and filled it halfway up with composted cattle manure, and then I filled the rest of the way up with water, and I, I blend it. I blend it with a, a um, attachment that fits to my drill, and it's about this tall from the bottom of the bucket to, to about here, and I'm just able to, to blend this mixture, and this stuff is... Um, is actually really good compost tea and then I'll take this and I'll add it to a barrel of already made up mixture of compost tea and fish emulsion in my backyard which I'll show you in just a moment alright this is our barrel of fertilizer as you can see it's very very dark I'll get something to stir it hold on a second it is a very, very dark liquid. Yeah, I'll splash it up all the time so you can see how dark it is. But, I mean, it's extremely dark. And basically, we made a 25-gallon barrel of fish emulsion. And then we added, um, when I had half used the fish emulsion, I added about um, a 5-gallon bucket of the compost tea like I just showed you. And I poured it in here and filled the thing back up with water. And now I've half used it again, so I'm going to add more compost tea, and the next time I'll add fish emulsion. So I'm going to keep a constant big barrel supply of, um, of fertilizer because I use it every week, and I usually use about 12 to 14 gallons of it when I fertilize. So, I mean, this barrel gets half emptied every time I use it. So... It's important to kind of um, keep this barrel full. So, just a moment, I'll pour the compost tea in here. Okay, so here is the um, bucket of compost tea, and I separated the, the compost that I had in my five gallon bucket into two buckets because it's just easier to lift that way. But I'm pouring this in, and I've added actually two gallons of water to this container since. Um, before this because well because I had it in one of my rain barrels and because I know that this is solid so I'll pour this bucket back in here to get the rest of the solids out because those are really important to, to getting the, the good vital nutrients out of this um, compost tea so I'm going to give this a little mix real quick so that I can get all the way down the bottom of this bucket so I really want those for um, good healthy compost so now that those are all mm, get those up there. this stuff sat in my front yard after I made it for about four days not because it was like really important that it sat but because that I was busy I was at work and didn't have time to um, take care of this so I need to add about another five gallon bucket of water to this at least but the solution that was in here was dilute because we got a rainstorm and I didn't have the um, bungee cord to seal this down and um, the wind blew the lid off of this and the rain poured down right here and so I had um, really dilute solution so I needed to kind of make this a, a way more um, concentrated solution to get the proper um, usefulness out of it. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.